Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play Civilization 6 Rise and Fall on DT. This Let's Play we continue to to have lags. Now we continue to explain how we do things. We are at war, 11 turns rebellion, but it should work. We may put some loyalty stuff in there. Do we get a great scientist anytime soon? Is that a different one than there was before? Am I crazy? I'm crazy. Well, in two turns we have this anyway. We want this as soon as possible because Magnus will be in around ten turns in Antium. And he'll kick out the great Zimba. The fun thing is about that plus ten gold I spoke about. It's not to foreign cities which you usually have to send to get gold. It's even in your own cities. It doesn't matter what kind of trade up. Just get plus 10 gold. That's why it's so damn good. Look, the Stonehenge. Oh, this guy's a promotion. Let's get it. Let's hack one here and the second here. Dead. Angkor Tom is capital. I really want to raise this city, that's a bad city. What? Rebellion in four turns now, suddenly? I don't have her yet. Maybe I should have prepared for that. That is sometimes a good idea to send her into a bordering city. And um, get her, if you have pro that's something people often have problems with, and even I struggled a lot in the beginning, but um, I'm confident enough to, to don't get worked up if I lose the city, I will just retake it again, it's fine. Um, how you can solve cities flipping back again after you have taken it, or how you can counteract it, or several things you have to take into consideration. Number one, send immediately a governor in there. He will already, before he's established, put down some loyalty pressure. Start to build a monument. If you finish it before the city flips, it will give loyalty. Have a garrison unit in there. It will give loyalty. There are two cards that also give loyalty, which we have not slotted in yet, but there is this one, governors provide plus two loyalty per turn to their city. So the governor that is in there gets plus two loyalty. I'm not sure if that counts as soon as you assigned him, or if you have to wait until he actually is established in there. I'm not sure about that, but it sure will help. Because the governor needs only five turns to get in there, and if you have rebellion in not five turns, but more than that, this will add a lot. And then there's another card that helps with this one: two loyalty for cities with a garrison unit. So if you have a unit in there, which for obvious reasons you will have, you get another plus two loyalty. I aim for this, maybe in both. And the last thing that can help is her. Why? Um, you assign her to one of your cities. In this case, we would assign her to Antium. And then... We get Prestige. Your other cities within 9 tiles gain 2 loyalty per turn towards your civilization. Within 9 tiles. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, this range. So, this city, this city, this city, and this city would get that. <coughs> Those cities, as soon as they are mine, which is the case for this city, would instantly get two loyalty towards me. So, I could have in this city, with the right cards and the right governor, six more loyalty going on. If I check here and see loyalty, right now I'm at minus 11 per turn. This means the city flips very soon. 
Oh, also because the amenities in here are shitty. That's bad. Other effects, minus two. Appeal, uninviting. Oh, that's the thing, I didn't know. Occupation, minus four, five, but the garrison, garrison unit during occupation. So it has a garrison that, that counteracts the occupation. Governor placed here is eight. Pressure from nearby citizens is minus eleven. So it's... These numbers don't really add up, do they? Oh no, six and two is equaling eight. Five and five equal out, so eleven point seven. But we could count, if we had six more in here, like I say, it would only be minus 5.7. So we would drop half as fast. So it wouldn't be four turns, it would be seven or eight turns. Of course, it's always hard to take a city that is deeper into this. But we have only one line of approach, so we need to take these cities too, to have less loyal pressure in all of these. Okay. But for now, we just prepare some more war. I think I just heal with this guy. And this guy goes here and prepares for up there. This one goes over here, this one comes closer. And I think our battering ram will move up there soonish. We want this city and this city. I think. I wonder to which city this encampment district belongs. Because like, I have a hard time to imagine that he placed this city that has only two pop and built the encampment completely in this city. I think he built it in this city on the third ring and then afterwards placed this city. We can heal this guy a turn two. We have to wait in here. Wait, the lake has food. So he actually got the stuff from Hue to Eukali. Cool. <clears throat> right, Magnus is now soon in this city. So let's move the builders over. Oh yeah, right. Okay. So we have all the forests that we need. We can actually flip the bananas over, I'd say, to this city. This city can use good some good bananas. Get Kilwa very soon. This will be a really great cultural district. And this city will be able to get a cultural district somewhere too. I like to build cultural districts near wonders. Another builder, go up here. We cannot faith buy more things. We could just money buy one if we want. But I think we don't need to. Those are already waiting in here. Although I think I'm allowed to move one in here. Although I need one on the I need one on the forest to start. So this will chop move. This will chop move. This will chop move. That sounds like a plan. Because this has to chop first because we want the forest to chop first for the walls overflow and this is the tile no this is the tile where Great Zimbabwe goes on. Right. What is Big Ben's? <laughs> Next to a river, Addison to commercial up with a bank. Must it be flat plain, flat land? Because it's something. No, it's just just next to a river and a commercial up. So I could place Big Ben even in here. If I wanted to. Great Zimbabwe has to go here because it must be next to commercial hub and the cattle. So we could build Big Ben here. I 
But the city has not placed its culture. This this city though has could have placed it over here, and this city could place it over here, and this city could place it over here. But we failed that already. We could have maximized the culture a little bit better. We could have gotten two two or four more culture in these cities. But I mean, what's two or four more culture at this point? I'm thinking. I just love min-maxing my cities. I love to plan the cities. That's what I enjoy the most about this game. <clears throat> Which one? Colossus. Okay, I didn't get that. I'm not sad about it because it was really late. Sometimes the AI has no tiles to build certain wonders on. And that's why they never really build them. Three turns. It will not be mine for forever. Oh, that was not a smart move. Give me three hits in here. Like to get a shot up there. Okay, let's do it like this. So I want these units to be ready to retake the city. You need to go here. Sleep. Very good. Five turns we have Great Zimbabwe, in three turns we have this guy in, so we will have to tech for Great Zimbabwe early. Why is this guy still there? I really don't like that scout being there. Can we still buy scouts? Yes, let's buy a cheap scout so I can deal with that. It annoys me too much. Do trade routes? Pressure loyalty? I don't know. Let's find out. Or would it need to be from this city to another city? I don't know. In some things need a turn to roll over to actually be properly calculated. Oh, that was not a smart move of you, my friend. You can finish this wonder if you like. You may have to read to take this city. In a market economy, however. Is this a hill? No. Otherwise I could shoot at this. Like this, I'd rather fortify and get some healing done. Let's prepare to take this city. It's easier to take. These cities, because of this camp, are a bit hard. And I have no issues if he finishes Alhambra in here. We shall do that. Maybe, oh, we... In two turns, we will get thrown out of its borders. I, near, I completely forgot about that. I don't want to have units in its borders in that case, if that happens. Once that happens. I, but I still want to heal a bit more. But if... I don't know if they are thrown into this borders and when it happens. Mm, the loyalty system, the, the cities going to rebellion is still something I have to learn a bit too. I want this to be beneath uh, a legion. Wait, we can, we can get the cards, we can lower that. 
Okay, we have to make this smart because we still want to do the wall abusive. But we cannot do it in here. But we definitely want to do it in here. So there, five, six, seven, at least seven turns it takes before we can do it in here. In seven turns we can get this. Which will get the boost to industrial wonders, which we didn't, don't really want yet. Would also give a governor, which would be great. Any other wonders we're building besides of this and the Great Zimbabwe? The Potala Palace. It is not industrial, if I remember correctly. Potala Palace is. No, is in here. So we really don't want that card because it makes the Portala Palace more expensive. On the other hand, we have three, we have four forests and the wall, so wall boost, so it should be easy enough, even without the 15% more production towards it. But we don't need it in seven turns, jeez. No, we really don't need that. So we go for something else. We can put a few turns into this and just finish it later. Okay. Because then I'm going to take out the wall production. For now. And I'm going to take out the builder stuff. I want the loyalty in, which needs to be in here. I still like this, so let's move this up here. And let's get the governor loyalty too. Some amenities would be good too. If the amenities will for every city with the garrison unit. Okay, fine. Let's go ma max it out. This will give the city four more loyalty and one more amenity. Let's see what happens. Still two turns. Maybe it needs a turn to, to calculate it. That's totally possible. Let's still go for the Apadana. Big build Big Ben just in here, I guess. Sure, let's get the Apadana. We'll get us some envoys. So It just changed to three turns, that's all, really? <laughs> oh wow, that's a good peace deal, but no. Really give us cities. He will not even give the two population, stupid city. Wow, look at this, this would be a good deal. I would do that if I were him. Because that's this stupid city. So I just think, I don't think that the effect is bad, I just think we were too late with it. Come on, finish the turn. The is one of the most beautifully built cities in the world. The houses there are entirely made of wood, their rooftops out of road grass, and it rains with great vigor. Two turns again. But I think it's because the loyalty where is the loyalty? The loyalty is already so low so low. It is a lot better than before. 
a lot better but the loyalty dropped already so much so if we had the cards in before it would have been better dude what How can this be negative? Why is your monument not finished? I want this guy to be not thrown out for sure. Can have this guy in the water, this guy in the air. Good. He'll not turn. We would you usually we would start to push on the next city, but I don't want to be to have swordsmen from a rebellion cities fall into my back, so I have to retake the city. What have you finished? Petra completed. What? No, not Petra. Oh, so we got re-beaten in... You are fucking loser, city. You got beaten due to a wonder on this tile by very few turns twice. Oh, I must have a religion to get Hagia Sophia. Well, that's it. You will not get anything good there, which is super sad. You get a synagogue, which is a lot of faith. You could get Taj Mahal somewhere, which I have no interest in. You fail on it anyway again. And get growing again a bit. And build this stuff here. I'm so disappointed here. Could have been such a great city, but no, we failed twice in something good. Rotterdam. We have the Kilwa finished. <coughs> to be honest, you need builders. We can get another builder. We don't have the, the girl in there anymore. It's in our new city. So... You can just build a builder, I guess. And then improve the tiles a bit and then get new districts. Because we pop 9, that's really good. In here we have 4. Like to get Auckland going. So Auckland is actually really a good city state. It has a lot of tiles. <laughs> wow, is Auckland many tiles. Just because it was once a city of a people, of a person. Netherlands took it out. But Auckland is really good. Because Auckland gives you... Um, shallow water tiles you own provide plus one production. Additional one when you reach the industrial era. So all my water tiles have plus one production. See? All have plus one. Also counts for the lakes. This is really good. Improves this one too, so this this lake is actually gonna get good now. Um, of course I need to keep it next turn. Where did that scout barbarian go? So there's just one turn remaining where we actually keep this city and then we have to give it to the rebellions and the Khmer will um, loyalty pressure it to a degree where no sorry to a degree where um, I could make her a gift so that she doesn't fall into my back um, where he will get the city back without even fighting for it he has no more military, which is good. She has actually quite a military. Therefore, yeah, let's... And she's isolated, I'm her only neighbor.
you have that resource already. So I will give you a resource you don't have. See, I'm nice. I'm not. Con I mean, I could have going been going for her too. But I mean, I have my military here. But I didn't know much about her land, and I still don't know much. It's a bit flat. Still decent. My city states have no units. Lisbon has. But Lisbon. Not sure if Lisbon will stay mine. Wait, fully loyal in. When will you finish your monument? This is so weird. It says fully loyal sometime soon. That is actually really good. In that case. Let's move units. We're going for Angkor Wat. Next. We may actually go then from the south to Angkor Tom and take these later. You finish that unit. Okay, good. Get here. You can start on the walls. You don't get a bonus to it. But the overflow will still help to rush the wonder because that's what matters. In here we're ready. Okay, let's get going. Is there another wonder we want in this city? Because the city has so many jobs. Could get the Taj Mahal. Do we want the Taj Mahal? Yeah, sure, it gives era score. Let's get the Taj Mahal too. Question is where? Must be on a river. Let's place it on this tile because I'd rather have mines than that. Afterwards you get the Taj Mahal. We just chop him out both. The temple is surrounded by a moat, and access is by a single bridge, protected by two stone tigers so grand and fearsome as to strike terror into the visitor. So pop 10, this means another district is ready for going. Which means I want this first. Because then I can place the cultural district in here that is amazing. Okay, we will have stuff very soon. Where is that barb? Probably dead. So one more turn, because we haven't done all the jobs we want yet. The city has so much housing, we want to give it more. Want to chop more jungles. Okay, next turn. What's this? <laughs> so I think the governor had to be established to actually get the loyalty going. Maybe they changed that with a patch. Scientist. Oh, this one is good too. We get the most points. It's good. I don't want this one. So we get one, two random technologies and one inspiration civic from the medieval. Don't want to finish this.
Really, we have all the medieval. The three great elements of modern civilization. So we just got some in here or what? Well, that is good too. And here we just got this one. So if you don't have any more, it just gets the next one. Okay, that's good to know. But sadly, this also means we need to lock in the wall again. Because we will not be able to change it there. Since we in six turns we have that guy over there. Therefore, I need to fill in the wall somewhere. I'm making enough money. Let's get the wall stuff going. This one. This also means I need to pay attention to this. And probably get something else first. Maybe a water mirror. Oh, I could have gotten St. Basil's in here. Really? Oh no, it took longer. Nah. Did you ever build a castle in the air? Here is one. Brought down to earth and fixed for the wonder of ages. We'll chop this next so we can beat the St. Basil's there. we have already so many chops in here so one more turn over there oh the, the religion changed it's now a meeting house fine and build the meeting house it's better anyway so since we get the housing in here you heal a bit what yeah, you can move. We oh, this will be an encampment. Okay, we have to hurry up in here. I want you to stand on that. This means it is blocked. move one further because then it mean range for both you stay here you're in a good spot to defend my lands okay I guess the scout killed with the scout fine let's get going No, you die. You have to be a bit careful though because Norway is behind him. Norway has his capital over here. If you're the bank 100. Okay. Now for the last few jobs. Go here, chop. Go here, chop, chop. We got all the chops we want, the rest is just hard to build. We 
You can always use this guy for a wonder we really, really want. Therefore, Magnus now goes to Antium. Five turns, I want to chop in here. Therefore, this is maybe a bit early. We have to be careful with that. Music is laggy right now, confusing me. Slam already to remove the walls big time. Eindhoven. Industrial district would be good. Well, in here and the mine and there. Campus would also be nice. I guess in here we will not really get a campus. Let's get the industrial zone. And the trader goes to Rome. How you handle traders if you want them in your weak cities to improve them a bit faster or if you want them in your capital so your capital keeps being stronger and stronger and stronger is a, I think a matter of taste and not of strat big strategy. It doesn't make a big difference I'd say. Guy is the healthiest. Hmm, it's a bit hard to slam this city, huh? Oh. Hello. Can get a lot of mines in here. Also a sheep for the hawk. Amsterdam is now big and working so many hills. Oh, this... Go away, Steam guy. Thank you. Steam is Steam people plop up over here. Hiya, Sophia. Thank you, Jayavarman. Finishing for me wonders. How nice. Good guy, Jayavarman. There's three users. Fine, let's get him. 
move this guy over here this guy over here and in here I want this to be coastal to siege the city can we slam once? good can we slam once here too? good this guy will go on the tile next turn so we can slam soon and early sure more culture is good you have to stay in the city as a garrison why is the monument not finished? why is everything at minus one? Minus turn left to I think there is some glitch we have in here. That annoys me very much. Let's get some hills in here. Rotterdam can use some better hills too. Oh come on! Stop game! Why do I have to go into airplane mode to actually see the cities? I hate them. <sighs> I like to use my arrow keys to zoom around, you know? Doesn't mean I want to get to the borders of the map. You could get an amazing industry district, to be honest. Plus two in here, these two. One, two, three more. So two more, it would be plus four. In here, it would be plus four, two. So in here. So in most tiles, it will be plus four. Sure? Let's get a plus four in this two district. So how is it going over here? Three turns till he arrives. The walls in four turns. Good. You know what? You're a scout. You're a scout, my friend. You're a scout. Go scouting. Do what scouts do best and scout. Which one? Alhambra by Jadwiga. Oh, come on, Jadwiga. He could have given this guy the Alhambra. Wilhelmina has been defeated. Oh, yeah, that was me. Ah! Mm, I should have moved. Now I have to keep this guy here because of the siege issue. Oh, this guy has a promotion. I keep that promotion. Out of a good reason, I want to slam, get the promotion, and slam again. That's a really good strategy that often works very well. Move here for this. For better healing. So Angkor Wat will be ours next turn. Now our four crossbows get slowly to the double shoot promotion. At least two of them getting closer. This one is the closest now. Just need to make like ten more shots. Not even ten more shots. My ancestor Darius made this Apadana, but it was burnt down. By the grace of Ahura. Ahura Mazda, Anahita, and Mithra. Ha! So next turn, 
We get the job, we make job, job. Have we? Wait, Zimbabwe. Going here. And in Rome? In Rome, we get a university. And probably some traders. More envoys. Very nice. Each great person ever earned. Oh, that's more culture. That's like 6% more culture or something because I think I got about 3 people. But we'll be great in late game. 6% is right now not much. 10% would be 11, so 6% is maybe 7. Oh yeah, good in here. Let's shoot. Let's slam this guy because it's the healthiest guy. And let's slam with this guy. Good, we got it. The others can keep healing. And this guy can come on land again. The battering ram will have an easier time over there, I think. From here it can approach too. Rebellion in seven turns. Get the monument immediately, then it should not be seven turns. It should be falling slower actually. It is at 60, that's kinda dangerous. Sixty defenses are hard not to crack. Six turns! Really? Seven happiness level occupation. Other effects. Really? Oh, the garrison unit should do a bit better, I thought. Oh, in here we're ready. Great Zimbabwe in one turn. Queen of Sheba, all she desired and asked for, besides what he had given her out of his royal bounty. So she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. I should put some traders in here actually. Let's get some traders out and the theater square because it will be amazing in here. Let's get the theater square first since we have another job next turn. So only the Potala Palace is left in here. You can go after that for a theater square in here because it's really good. And then for a campus in here. Fine, get a farm in here. Farm triangles are good. Some housing and food for these cities. You actually lack housing and take over some of these farms. Wait, there is no plantation on the bananas? Right, we should change that. Oh. 
these two tiles you cannot work it so I want them to go over to cities that can actually work it to have a lack of good tiles maybe anyway now the lake is really good sadly you cannot build fisheries on the lake for some reason this monument does just not get built here it obviously builds stuff, in here not. Maybe because it queued it up, I don't know. I get the feeling he has defensive units in here and here. Because he, because he has several units again. I hope he doesn't, he's not yet at muskets, that would be a problem. Astronomy See if we can make friends with Norway again. Friendship. He just doesn't want. Wait, we will get another golden age? No. One, four, five, we need for that. Some of my units are a little damaged. Sure, and those behind are a little damaged too. What? No! Stupid movement. Now, I have moved to move you out again. Just for one turn. I don't want this to be unprotected and I want it to move in next turn. That's actually really important. So we have those at the level we want. So we want another one. I will get Amani. And. Even though I could appoint her in here. Yeah, I should appoint her in here. In Angkor Wat. I want to give her a level up soon. So we need nationalism to get her to level up. Oh, the plus one amenity for garrison units is gone now. It's obsolete. That is very sad. I know oh it's up here. Then what was in here? The wonder production was in here. What was in here? The walls. Oh, the walls. The walls are also obsolete now. Defensive for that. Okay. Amenities for cities. You know what? This will be really good very soon. You will need housing because right now you only have housing because of dude. Why is this? This is not yours, this is the capitals. Wow, capital, really? You went. Wow. Get this too. All the stuff to the capital cannot work anyway. We have two more to chop, which we actually will do, and then we will move the guy to Mediolano. Fine, let's get these builders over there too. Oh, I wanted to... Whatever, we forgot the plantation. We can do it later. I want the builders over here because I have just two in here. I want the others to help out too. Next turn. This will drop now faster. This is the five turns.
now it's going better. So we just took a moment to to recognize. Oh, so it takes just one turn, so it, the game recognizes the the guys in there. Nice, got the great commercial district. Only eight more, and then we will have another golden age. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Now, I want to move in now. This city is a bit strong, which is kind of scary. But I guess we will deal with it. I cannot afford to wait. Cannot chop that in time. Fine. I'm not waiting for one chop. Reassign to Mediola. you start we, we cannot do the wall use in here because it's not anymore policy card doesn't exist anymore we can go directly for that and we finish this of course and I need to buy this need that forest tile in Velitre. industrial district in here or just some basic buildings we built a bath up here an entertainment district in here sure entertainment center we could make in here although this is in range of Rome Rome can build another wonder in there Therefore, we will not block this tile. No, you go for a library, <clears throat> and Rome will get this. Oh, it's Rome cannot get it because it's your base tile. Does entertainment stack? Maybe. Let's find out. You can finish the library first though, it's fine. Plus four plus fifteen from some cities, very good. <coughs> ah. His pikes had shot. Really? I've never seen them in game actually. They are in here. Oh, see, is it metal casting really? Well, all the people are in here in size. <laughs> I'm glad he has I'm not in the in his capital. Okay, let's slam the city. Oh, this will hurt because the city is strong. Wow. We may lose a unit in here. Wow, why is it so strong? It cannot be at steel yet. 
that's where battering rams get obsolete. So his city is really just that strong, which means we need gunpowder probably. Sure, let's get quick military engineering to see if we even have the resource for for gunpowder units. You could build a Statue of Liberty. That sounds like a fun plan. I mean you take forever. But yeah, sure, go for the Statue of Liberty just for the lols. You can chop it out. But it doesn't have priority right now. Both have just one. You have three, so you can chop and then improve this. You could actually improve this. Do you have you have just one too? We need some more builders, I guess. You have also just one. Hmm. Fine. Disembark. Move here. Angkor Wat. We have not much to build. Build walls. You can after that build another trailer. probably used engineer for Ruhr Valley. That's why he has a decent military score because he has actually good units. But I will need this Creates city too. I think I cannot completely take him out. At least he's now under a siege. You get a promotion. You can switch with this guy. And then we have two more who can slam the city. And we can shoot the city with more. You can shoot it next turn. You can shoot it this turn already. Wow, it's super close. We could suicide one guy to get rid of the wall, but it's pointless because the reason to get rid of the wall would be so the wall doesn't kill our units, and if we suicide one, we lose one anyway. So let's go for this. Alright, I need a wall in here. Um, a builder in here. I need more builders. Faith by one in here because in here we have. Only five because we have not the card in here. Right. But it's still five a uh, five builder slot guy. Yeah, get get the mine up here. I just want to see that going. You, since this guy is not in here anywhere yet, you go here. Go here. I will move you out actually again move you in next turn. I just have to remember because once I moved it out to be safe and forgot to move it in and slammed into the wall without a ram. <laughs> so my legion slammed with their physical body against the wall. <laughs> oh god.
Okay. Move this guy back in. Here we pillage. This guy can slam and the wall is gone. This guy can pillage. This guy can heal. I will not I don't pillage districts. Okay, good. You're a five slot use guy, we will send you over. So you got your monument long ago, we just never stayed in the queue even though we got it. That must have been it. So we had to produce something, to buy something for it to work again. That's actually really stupid. You've just one use. You're the guy with more than one use. So you go here, you go here. He also has Domrus, which are really strong. <clears throat> I honestly do not want to fight Domrus. Oh, and he's a pike and shot in the city now. I need to get this shit, this, this shitty, this city very soon. The more science. Slam, but it would nearly kill him. I'm curious if I should switch these two in case the Domri decides shooting is a cool idea. Sure thing. Okay, now we just need to shoot a few turns. Okay, do we have Niger? No! That's where the Big Ben is supposed to go! That's why I usually don't research Niter, because I, I nearly never use musket men or bombards who both take Niter. At this, I fight wars uh, with crossbows and knights and or unique units, those two are the ones you want to fight wars with, or later with field cannons and cavalry and still with battering rams or even later with tanks and artillery those are the units you fight wars with and you prepare it well the units in here no and I dislike that you cannot remove or replace strategic resources I dislike that a lot. See, you cannot remove it. This is why I cannot place something in here. This means we cannot get Big Ben. Because this was the only tile I could get it. That's why I put the, the this district here and not here. So I can place Big Ben in here and get more culture. <sighs> Fuck this. I really... I should search for a mod that allows to remove strategic resources, no seriously. We have another place, we could get Big Ben in here. We just have to hard build it. Eh. Do you have a place for Big Ben where you don't have to hard build it? I think all our river cities really did their job stuff already. Yep. Huh. Ankor. Angkor Tom could still. Yeah, sure, we could build it in here. Where is your commercial district? You do not have one. This one has one. Okay, fine. You can always build a commercial district. Is this your culture district? Why is it here? And you could have maxed that out better. 
But still, he has the good districts. He has these three districts. That's good. So, since we have Niter. Yeah, we actually have Niter. Build an armory. Never gonna happen. I may need gunpowder, but I also want to slow to get start on Oxford in here. I have to see how I make this. Is I, I need to take the last city, but if he has pikes and shot, then I need muskets against that. I cannot fight with with legionnaires against against musket men against yeah. We're playing with units from 500 AD against units from 1000, 1500 AD. Damage is now so low. I need to circle these units. Let's get a scout in here. What? Why is it in here? Wait, what? That still counts? That is weird. I could buy an armory actually. I'm filthy rich, let's do it. Faith by another builder. In this case, we have this very soon. Let's get it. And afterwards, we go for Oxford and then directly for Ruhr Valley. Build a lumber mill. Kill a unit with a musket. I can do that. I can build a lumber mill. We got this in here. Of course, we don't build the lumber mill in here. Oh my god, we don't get it in here. It's not good enough! We're 19 turns off and we used all our builders. In that case, let's push that city. And build it some mines. <laughs> Intensive planning and then we don't get anything out of it. Let's get a bath for this city. Because baths are good. But you have a shitload of housing. Only because of the governor though. For now. Wow, you win against a Domri. I'd rather have you fortified anyway though. heal here so you can replace a unit someday build a mine good when does the age end so we got still time good so what we're doing now is a bit risky but he doesn't have much well he has more military than I do what? Is he at war with someone or where does he keep that military? That's kind of scary. I mean, my military is considered so low. Now he's higher than his now. My military was so considered so low because it was all damaged. Now we're actually healing a decent, at a decent pace. Oh, I want this one. This one is really good. Grants for loyalty per turn for the city. Yes, we, we take that. That's good. It's for coastal cities, though.
Ostia has finished some stuff that's good. Build something in here. Like a commercial hub. Or a harbor. I think a har Ooh, a harbor in here would be great. But it's a good lake tile. On the other hand, your coastal tiles would be good too. On the other hand, it's just two money more. But one food and one production more. For you, I think that is more worth more. Because you lack good tiles. Let's go for the harbor. And get the commercial district later. Then for you... Still love you to get a wonder. Commercial hub would be great. Campus would be great. Campus up here, you know? No, that would be good, right? That would be really good. Good, get it. Who is working this tile? Are you working that tile? Rome is. You are working it now. No, we want this city. Wait, that this means you have to go into a city and teleport next turn to another city. Over here, good. We could slam, but we nearly die. I wait till we actually can take it. We can use Magnus in these cities too. Oh, I can move through builders? Good to know! So it just interrupts the, the how the movement prediction is shown. But not the actual movement. I've seen a pike and shot move over here. You can keep the city back there, I just want these two cities. I'm sure the cities back there are good too, but on the other hand, they are like a wall against Norway for me. And they really don't want to fight Norway. Okay, we, we should be able to take it this turn. I think. Hmm, the problem is these guys die when they attack and can only attack with two before I have to sacrifice some, so no, I need another turn. Some of these guys are really close to a promotion. Hey, it works well, isn't that nice? Six turns you have it. Very good. Go to Rome for the 4 4. I missed that the last time. Or we use this. They rather use this on Ruhr and Oxford, to be honest. Oh, yeah, teleport. This city can get the loyalty. And this city would get, but this city doesn't have a harbor, so we cannot give it to this city. So this city will get it. Knights. Domri.
Oh god, messages on several occasions. What do we want up here? Let's get this. We have a decent loyalty pressure around here. Okay. We shoot with them. Then we slam with this guy. And we got the city now. Wow, this encampment is ours. Nice. Of course, we keep this city. It is fully loyal. What? Nice. Now let's ask Peace. What's the name of the city? Indrapura. So I want Indrapura. He's not giving it. Then we make peace only when once we have this. Because otherwise our land will be a bit awkward. We need that for the good connections. You will have housing issues once your guy is out of town, huh? Get these two farms going. You have actual housing issues. I need the money girl in here actually. Sign to Antium. One left. Oh, we still have this guy in here. Do we want to move this guy? Yes, I think. To Ravenna for now. Go to Ravenna. And afterwards, we move you. Now we have housing issues, as I predicted. After Ravenna, you go to these cities. Let's buy another builder. And let's check the messages I got in the meantime. Okay, cool. Okay, so different people wrote me. Still alive? Upgrade is actually quite expensive. 
Let's finish this and get the cheaper upgrades going. Well, now it's again for rebellion, so it cannot decide. Really. Go here, then you can move in there. Next turn very easily. Sorry, lo loyalty in here shouldn't be an issue anymore. Let's actually send Amani to Angkor Tom. Because then she covers more cities. Also, Angkor Tom is generally the better city. Faith buying builders is so nice, because in the late game you will usually produce a lot of faith. I wonder where Poland is. It must also be behind um, Khmer somewhere, probably north of Norway. But this is a really stupid continent. Just a long continent where everyone is next to each other. I mean, not that everyone is next to each other, I mean, one people on them. number one. Number two, number three, number four, number five. That's really stupid. Like a ring world. Two of them. Oh, that is super scary. That's a hill. I hope I survive two attacks. Not a pike there. I need the cheaper upgrades, otherwise I'm not upgrading that many as a not upgrading as many as I want. I put him here to zone them because I don't want to lose crossbows. Writer, very nice. Get your walls going actually. Give this city some more housing. Writer. And because she is so. Let's just keep some builders around. I don't want your money, I want your cities. This is so disgusting. But he survived an attack from a pike and shot. How strong is the pike and shot? Well, very strong. With a promotion. Okay. You okay? And I, I need to plan this very well. I need to spill that away. This is distracting me. This guy has to go back. I want this guy in the city so I can move back with this guy. This 
Okay, we'll get the promotion for next turn. This guy has to be upgraded now. Otherwise he may die. Like this is super strong against them. Wow, I get so many benefits for this guy. So you shoot. And you shoot. You move here. You move back. You move here. You just fortify. Next turn I upgrade them all. Over here I would love to shoot, but no way. Get the promotion. And you just stand here 45. Actually, my legion are as strong as his pike and shot. What is this? What is this madness? I'm fighting against DTAI and my legion are as strong as his pike and shot. So they get four from oligarchy. Three from my intel on him because I have had trade routes or something with him. Um, plus 10 because they, I'm good against anti-cavalry units because of, and plus 7 because of battle cry promotion. Okay, cool. Why would you ever build pike and shots? Auckland is not anymore mine. I would like to keep Auckland and also get Antananarivo. You farm in here. Oh yeah, and I need builders in here to chop to chop Statue of Liberty. Sure, let's send builders over there. Do we have two in here already? That's good enough, I guess. I guess. We can always drop the Sydney Opera House in here. Sure. promotion that's fine with muskets I can slaughter them actually even with legions I win against them <laughs> funny so well promoted melee units totally worth it legions are so OP they we are in the uh, we are in the industrial well, age and our legions are still competitive the port port. Port. Palace. I felt as never before or since as if I was stepping onto the rooftop of my being, onto some dimension of consciousness that I'd never visited before. Colonialism. The enforced spread of the rule of reason. So, I want cheaper upgrades. for a turn instead of this we have to move that in again someday later get some money got computers so in three turns we can change again get an artist we get this anyway this we may have to face by next turn. Um. Right, move here. Good. Move here, we cannot do the wall trick in this city. <laughs> we cannot do wall tricks at all anymore.
Hmm. No, wait, a market, of course, for a trade route. Sure, get the what? What is good for you? The amphitheater. <clears throat> Another envoy. Yeah, your trader cannot plunder. Fine, I don't care. They will not really be plundered anyway. Let's send them here where they gave me shit tons of money. You wait some turns. You'll get Oxford very soon. Move here. Okay. We have the cheaper upgrades now. Let's do it then. I mean, we are equal, that's about it. We're not winning, we're just equal. Which is not the same. Shoot. And shoot. Yes, and kill. So good. Oh god, this is so good. Edwig and Harald are at war. Interesting. Are you sure it's smart to denounce me? Wow, she's actually a really huge military right now. Oh, she has a unique unit. But the Kefsur is not good. Upgrades into a musket man, so it's really it's 40 milli strength, the same as a legion, and it's plus seven combat win on hill. Okay, so it's stronger than a legion, arguably, but it comes at technology, military tactics, and costs 180 production. A legion costs 70 less production it's n it costs about a third or a third less production two-thirds of the of the captures production is a legion so what was the capture at which tech at military tactics Claims that cannot be tested Military tactics is here. The legion comes here at Ironwork. For the legions, I only need mining, bronze working, and then bam, legion. While for military tactics, I need mathematics, which I usually don't go for unless I want the Petra. Currency, which is something I want, that's true. Writing and pottery. Which are all texts I want, but still it takes longer to get here. And this is a dead end. This is something I usually don't research unless I, re unless I really want to build the Hueo Teokali. So, the Kefsir is really bad. And once you have that point with pikemen, people will have knights. And the Kefsir is good in hills and not good against knights. So, and look at all, all this flat terrain, and here it would be shit. The legion would be just stronger in here. So yeah, why would I ever want to build that unit? I don't know. Georgia is so much weaker compared to Rome. A lot weaker. A, riti a ridiculous amount weaker. It's... It's really sad. So, you still lack housing, but you can get a campus. I like campus, so get it here. Angkor Wat. You will also need housing. Um, don't have much to build. Fine, um, build a builder. There's never anything wrong with builders. 
No, no, no. I want, I want my units. Look, this guy, double shoot. In here, this guy can go here to heal, and the scout can move out because this guy has a promotion. The scout can move in again. The scout can move out and in. Good. In here, we shoot. Move in. Oh, movement ended. Fine. But still, I'm going to slam this. Here, here. You actually heal a bit. Because next turn we start to move on this city. Rome is really good for trade routes. Eindhoven is really good. And Angkor Tom. But Angkor Tom goes through the enemy, so we go to Eindhoven. Alright, we can already chop this stuff out. Do we have the wonder production locked in? No. Then we're not chopping it out. We switch back in two turns. Because we have upgraded all our muskets. Oh yeah, right. Afterwards, you go for the Oxford. Oxfordor. Why do I say it's so weird? I don't know, because I'm... Oh yeah, right. I think... Some, some person in... In Code Geass was named Oxford, and the Japanese um, dub, the original dub, there they always say Oxford, and I like to say it kind of like that <laughs> because I've heard it a lot like that. It's not me making fun of it or anything because the original dub is the best dub in nearly everything. There are very few occasions where I have to say, well, some foreign dub is also really good. <laughs> um, no. Look, we're winning! And here we're winning too, I mean, currently it says Norway is, but we're better in both. So we're winning in everything but religion. But even in religion, they keep each other at bay, which is really good. So, you thought it is a smart move to come here? Really? Because I don't think so. Oh, I can... No, I cannot slam the city. Next turn again. Let's see what kind of cities he has. This would be a good city. Oh, this would be good. Industrial zone. Yes, Babylon. Damn bastard. But most of these cities are not so great. But he's a lot of cities. So even though we're crippling him, he's not out of the game completely. We would need to have to go for him completely. Which we can do, of course, until we decide, nah, we're done here. Okay, get a market, so you can get a trade route afterwards. Hmm. Still takes a moment, huh? Okay. One more turn. Then we can do the choppings in here. Let's 
Six damage. <laughs> That's cute. History. Okay, let's change again. We need the discounts anymore. We want our wonder production back. Housing, the money is good. We can get rid of the loyalty and the melee stuff also very soon. Once we have peace. So we have done this now. Governor here. I wonder if it must be on a flatland. This one. That is into Government Plaza. We can build it on this mine if we want to. Or on the cattle even. Yeah, sure. Let's build it on this. Because the mine will be good with the Ruhr. The cattle I don't care about much. An art museum. I want that at some point. Let's go for urbanization in that case then. Faith by archaeologists. Really? It's kinda neat. But you have a good production in this city. And we want to save the faith by for good stuff like this. What's the next one? Three Eurekas. Can we keep this city state, please? Thank you. Because it starts to give us a shit ton of stuff. Good, we can still shoot. We can still shoot. Let's get this city under the city under siege. So this is the other city that is also kind of good. I can easily get this. Why did he never improve the stone? I don't understand. That's kind of stupid. No, seriously, that's really stupid. The fun thing though is from here I can move in and start to shoot out of security space. Totally exploity. Do we have a city that can contain art slots? No, we cannot. We have only writer slots. Hmm. Doesn't the Apadana have slots for everything? Yeah, I should move the writer's things out of the Apadana into the amphitheaters. If your actions inspire... So let's do that quickly. Because then... This guy can... Start to release the Kraken. Next turn we got it, good. Then we can use the next one on the road. I think we never built lumber mill. Nope. I want to chop this. Fine, let's build a lumber mill and then remove it next turn. Actually, you could use a lumber mill to be honest. And here you could get an industry district, or in here. 
but in here it will be better for the science district. Okay, fine. Let's prepare in case we want to drop something more. Although it's all not in your district, in your city range, so cannot do that. It's the mountain guy. Do we have somewhere more than two mountains? For our mountain guy? So he will be just five turns of science. Sure. There is little man has made. Good. Wait, I should slam in first with those that kill the walls. Then shoot and slam in with this guy. Slam in with this guy. And slam in with this guy. Yay! That was rather easy. Repair your monument, please. Oh no, I'm a warmonger. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of money. Hmm. Clever men at Oxford know all there is to be known, but they none of them know one half as much as intelligent Mr. Toad. Intelligent Mr. Toad. I imagine a toad with, with glass, with tiny glasses on him. And first, Hephaestus, if you see a castle under. Art Museum going. Mediolanum, my friend. Antium, get Raiders. Thank you. This is fine. This is population six. Vimayapura. Do we want Vimayapura? What does Vimayapura have? It's this one. Encampment and industrial zone. It has an industrial zone. That's kind of good. I'd rather have this city though. But to be honest, I can make good use of the pillage. We have to heal in the city a little bit. You will have a promotion anyway. You can heal a turn too. pillage stuff in here and then we take this city and after that I think we call it a day. Builder can go and repair stuff. We can remove this again. This is not improved.
can improve the fish in here actually crabs and stuff People can have the models. Village, thank you very much. Can you shoot from here? No. But from here? Ooh. Mm, let's get here and we can pillage there. You move in and do then get your promotion, huh? You move further. You move further. You heal a turn. This city. Yeah, sure, repair your stuff, that's good. This builder, should we repair this or remove this? I don't know yet. We get to a point where things do not matter all that much anymore. Six turns, wow, nice. In six turns we go in to get Ruhr. In four turns we get Statue of Liberty. Ouch, our plus four died. Pike and shot did attack though first and then it shot. Interesting, I didn't know that they do that. Because usually the AI just keep I mean he did not attack in here. It just keeps it in there. But it seems when he can get a kill by shooting it afterwards, if he doesn't need to leave with the unit, it's then he the does it. Revolution and the growth of urban concentrations that led to a sense of anonymity. Village. Move. Move. Oh, it's hard to get shot at this. This would have been an amazing Petra city. Petra city. It's a trade here. Build an art museum. We'll have an art museum soon. Get your workshop done, because you will have a lot of production actually. Some basic economy actually and an aqueduct down here. No. Oh, yeah, and the packet shot wasn't there before at the beginning. Um, I haven't decided yet what I do with you. Oh, we have a musket in here. We kind of forgot about it. Get a mine. Get this plantation. 
Oh, we get the St. Basil's Cathedral next turn. But hard building these wonders without getting the Magnus chops is really something borderline impossible on DT. I mean, we got beaten to a few even though we chopped the shit out of them. I mean, the best thing is of course, like I did with the pyramids, just chop it out in one turn or with the Great Zimbabwe. Then you can not Long had a twisted design, red. On a green ground. But I get the feeling the AI, AI doesn't prioritize it much. We could still get a bath in here. We're not the most productive city though. And we can get actually some some amenities to be honest. Because my people are, most of my people are really, really unhappy. It's not good. It's not good to have unhappy people. Yeah, sure, let's get a water park just for the giggles. You don't all have to min max things anymore. Oh, you thought this was a smart move to shoot this guy. Oh, well, too bad, huh? Do you really want to fight this? Wow, you survived it. I'm impressed. Let's keep these guys here. Next turn we slam the city. Oh, Babylon in here. Which city has this encampment? Babylon or Viad Viadapura? You moved out with a pike and shot to nearly kill this guy? but not actually kill this guy. That wasn't a smart move. Although I have to admit this guy is pretty much in the middle of the shot range. So if this guy doesn't have a promotion, which he doesn't, we may not be able to actually heal him up. Let's slam the walls. So they're not down. This guy cannot attack. This means... There are two hills, you're not on a hill. Here I'm safe if you don't have any units in there. This guy in here. So we can smash the city afterwards. Babylon has the Temple of Artemis. Build the Hermitage in here or here. Oh, this is tempting for you to get the Hermitage. Where is Magnus? Let's move Magnus to to Angkor Tom and move Amani to Indrapura.
we're doing ridiculously good. <clears throat> but this is, if you pick a strong civilization and go by the book, Here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning. So we have two settlers that we will not use. That's what we do here with immigrants. Just delete them. <laughs> was that of junk offensive? Or is it okay because it was funny? Or was it not funny? Okay, slam. Very good. Slam. Yeah, sure, we attack here. I want this city to be gone next turn. There is another city in here. Some little garbage city. I don't know what to do with this build with this builder. The fish is out of range for you. There are some fish. So we take this city and then we go for Babylon. And I think that's about it. Oh Babylon just so it's the camp of Babylon. And he got a new unit. Okay, that was a eventful turn. An eventful turn. And Tamar just... What? <laughs> that happens if you go very greedy for lots of warmongering. I mean, Poland I don't care about. But over here we may have to act. Because if she brings siege weapons, she can certainly take this city that is on flatland, surrounded by flatland. But, lucky us, we're filthy rich. We're gonna buy a musket because of lacking nitre. Because I only have one nitre source. But I can get a pike and shot, which is something. I guess we go for field cannons afterwards. What is the boost for field? Two forts. Both constructed by military engineer. Yeah. Ah, forts, but it's the Roman forts. Wait, I've got an idea. I just buy a legion and upgrade him next turn. GG, that's easy. Question is, can I kill this unit already? Good. Village. Ha! 
how did you get walls in here when it's yours? Yours and not yours. Rebellion in nine turns, really? You need to get the monument back. And you need to be in here again, because right now we're not pressuring this. Eindhoven. Rome. Oh, we don't have a factory yet. We, we want turn early. That's what it is. I was like, oh my god. But we just want turn early. It's fine. So... Start on the Gaza? Yeah, sure, start on the Gaza. Plop. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, it's just like, you dead now. As a science district and the Temple of Artemis, that's why I want Babylon, and this pop temple. But I'm playing a bit greedy right now. Getting hit quite a few times, actually. By several things at once, and always down here. Okay. I really don't want war with Norway right now. I think with muskets and the fortified city I could hold easily, but it's still, I if it can be avoided, we should avoid it. Going here to heal. Five turns and then read rebels, it says. That's kinda harsh. can burn this city. I mean, it has an industrial district, but I get the feeling it's still under construction. You get the promotion very soon. Mediolanum. What do we want for you? Maybe a harbor up here. Money, a campus somewhere. An industrial zone. Hmm. Nothing really appeals to me of that. The harbor would give you some good tiles though. Let's get the harbor then. And let's get more traders. Rotterdam. Oh, nice! You're a good. You you have become a very productive city. It's really nice. Archers. Are you kidding me? You coming at me with archers? All right, the walls are down. The encampment is behind it, okay. <clears throat> I 
hope Auckland doesn't die to her. She has muskets too, okay? She's archer scouts and muskets. Muskets are actually dangerous. Muskets and... If she also has bombards. If she has muskets, it means she has at least one nighter. Is Lisp on hers? That is a problem. If Lisbon takes out Auckland, then it will drop. It's ours now. Laventa is also at war with me, actually. But I haven't seen any units from Laventa. Nice, another writer. Here, Khmer. Recently, University and Library this week. Sure. This city could use it well. So this guy goes here. Good. And the writer goes actually into Oxford. Out of this room. Oxford. Oh look, a dead scout. Well, not even. But our scout can get experience. Hooray, so cool. Dude, you really want that? Oh, she just kills my cultural city-state. That's it. Mostly with swordsmen. Why are the swordsmen not your unique unit? So it's not even a replacement. So you cannot even upgrade warriors into the Kef... Kef guy. That makes it so bad. That makes it a bad unit even worse. It's incredible. You still think it's cool what you do? Well, next turn I have more loyalty in there. Alright, we need to shoot here a bit more. Good engineer. Move around in here so we can pillage on the other side. The rest is all healing, which is totally fine. Healing is cool. We like healing. We could also liberate Babylon and have a city state with the Temple of Artemis. He will not give us the city anyway, right? I mean, I can ask him if he gives me Babylon. Yeah, now you can fight muskets in here. Sadly, you're very good at it, because the AI is shitty at moving units. And your city shoots kinda hard. Wow, Norway, really? Antium. Let's make a trader city. Could have used more housing. Sure, then let's get a bath. Angkor Wat. Could get an industry district in here or something. Or a shipyard. Shipyard is actually really good. In here, we want to chop. Because we want the Hermitage now. Good. We get it very soon. We shoot. get here and you can pillage 
Because this allows this guy to move here and not shoot. Hmm. Six turns for rebellion now with the Really? Need to raise this probably. Question is also can we keep Babylon? If we take it. It is known that man has Could ask him for Babylon. No, oh, more units. Yeah, I'm starting to lose my interest in Babylon. Because it takes a bit long. Bye bye, Andanarivo. You gave me a lot of culture over the game. It was really nice. How do I get there? Antananarivo is surrounded by her. I really don't care. Do we want to change something? No, the plus four melee is still kinda useful. Can we get it? Oh, come on. We have to wait one more turn. Com a full more turn. Nyeh. Get the promotion in here. Get the pillage in here. So we can move this guy forward. This guy here. We get all the guys. It's natural wonder. We have so much golden age points, it's ridiculous. Research radio, we're not there. So I don't think we need this anymore. Build two neighborhoods, never gonna happen. But we can get chemistry for some more science output. Get the walls, I guess. Elytre? Oh, you that city. Get an amphitheater. Ostia. Um, dude, you reach this, not the others. And since you're the city that lacks good tiles, you get that too. And you go for a lighthouse and then a shipyard. That's good stuff for you. Alright, do you want to chop some more in here? Close. Let's get this too. Six turns. Get this. Is that new territory? No. Wait. Yes, it is. Museums are on the front lines of the fight. Get the Hermitage. So cool. Let's get a farm triangle in here going. And get actually an art museum rolling. And Magnus. We can send him to this city. Just for a moment. But where would he would we want him? Is the good question, I guess. Where would he would we want Magnus? 
I think we leave him there for now. It doesn't matter much. It's fine. Him being there, giving some housing over it. Or no, to Angkor Wat, because Angkor Wat can use some stuff. Okay, fine. Let's send him to Angkor Wat. City needs more housing too. Why did this go up to 28 from 16? Does the overflow drop once you pull him out again? Maybe. I did I wouldn't know. So Poland is back here. Totally fine. This is dropping in loyalty. Okay, cool. This should be dropping in loyalty too, I think. Unless his new capital is up here. It's going to be a bit hard to surround this, but we want to cle clear the walls first anyway. We cannot get in here. Fine. This guy is safe in the city. Although we don't want. Why does he stand there now? Don't even want this city. This was now weird, and we lose this guy probably. It's as though it can kill it. Oh, and we have crossbows up here. Ooh. Got to be careful. Poland is in here. Wait, you should be able to build the rule. Want to switch here? Buy the factory. And build the rule now. At this point it's really just unit movement and go for the buildings for your districts. Go for either for everything that gives tourism, so archaeologists and certain wonders, or and or go for the research labs and get your districts out to maximize science. Because for science victory you want to maximize your science so you can research all the stuff that has 
called Robotics, Nuclear Fission, Nanotechnology and Satellites. If you don't read the newspaper, and you will you build it all in your capital. If you read the newspaper. And of course, um, you keep an, an eye on engineers and scientists, because as soon as someone appears that helps you produce space parts, you get that. You make sure that you faith by that one. I mean, this one is good, but I will probably not go for it or not spend anything on it because there may be one that I need more urgent. Or if you go for tourism, if you do the same over here, you make sure that you get some that are in... that could help you to get a theming bonus and you get the wonders that you need for late game tourism. Like you get the Hermitage, you get the Bolshoi, you get the Broadway, you get the Cristo Redentor, and if you have a good coastal city, you also get the Sydney Opera House. You make sure you get that stuff. Um, if you want to see tourism, watch my French Let's Play. Or maybe my Persia Let's Play. They are both very strong on that part. Slam. And slam. And slam. And shoot. Oh, and shoot again. We bring this guy back. This builder over here. Then in here. We move and shoot. And shoot again. In here we move. We're fighting a district. Anti cavalry. Oh, super good against stuff. You, you actually can have soon experience, so move here to shoot at something. You get another government appointment. Sure, let's get the Castellan and put him in Viad. Viad. Uh, last governor title, sure. The amenity thing is now gone. Therefore we drop the loyalty up there, since we will replace that later with the money probably. Then we can get... No, I don't care about any of that. In here... We will soon maximize our output of things. We have a lot of commercial hubs actually. Let's get this. Free market will also be very strong. Do we need to keep this? I think we get that last city without this. Our war time is soon over. We're fine. We are now the peaceful Republic of Rome. We're not any more war mongers. This industry district is so bad placed. Could have gotten so many mines around it. No. Didn't want to, huh? Could also remove this. But the question is, do we want? No, we want. Do not want to remove this, because there will be an industry district for the city, an industrial zone in here. Good. That's actually good coastal ties to work. In three turns, in three turns, we chop stuff. We have only two tiles we can chop. That's why we really need Magnus in there. But we also don't chop a wonder out. Hello, game lags for some reason, maybe because it goes over so much land. More art, more wonder speed up. In six turns we have the rule. Very good, very good. We should put on the continent lens and check if some of our newly conquered stuff gets that.
No, not yet, but soon. I will gladly take some relics. I have more Saint Michel. If I buy apostles, they should have Martyr. And I have religion. I mean, I don't have my own religion, but I have religion in my cities. So I could get tourism by that. Oh no, too bad, you died. Um, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, sure. Stay. Now the question is, do we? It is amenities. It is really good. We keep it. Babylon is now Roman. Liberating would be technically better for science, but the AI can easily swarm over and just kill it, which would be very sad. Now I am willing to make peace with you. Because I really don't want all your cities. Too many of them are garbage. And it would just take too long to move our units. We do not aim for a domination victory here just because the map is so stretched out and my game is freezing right now I hope it's not crashing because I think we reached the end of our tutorial I mean the game is not over yet so seed all of them Not willing to give this? Okay, fine. Okay. And give me all your money. Not luxuries? Wow, not even horse. Fine, don't give me that stuff. Seed and give me this. That's okay. Dude, would you sell me that? No. Oh, you have a lot of stuff. You sell me that? That? Hmm, it's not willing to sell anything. Okay, guys, can we make peace? It's not 10 turns yet, it's only 8 turns. Oh, whatever, fine. Go in here and sleep. Babylon? No, Antium. the bank because you're the, the money place and Babylon of course repair your monument thank you very much for some reason this this city is all is glitched out again get the granary then I don't know a musician that we cannot place anywhere Yeah, to get some of the wonders will be hard because we don't have much flat land next to cultural districts. It's going to be hard. Indrapura has a lot of forests to chop, though. Hmm. And you have some flat land in here. Although not a huge amount to chop anymore. Oh. 
But I think you get how it works in DT. Get the superior units, get battering rams, and take out your enemies. And of course, the crucial mo the first video is the most important one. Because that's where you get your economy rolling while securing your borders. You need to get your economy rolling early and strong so you can support wars afterwards. And with that I mean quick wars with superior units. Dude, just no. My muskets would like to heal. Please do not interrupt them. They haven't done anything wrong. But they may actually do someday. Mediolanum. Yeah, sure, get a lighthouse. It's good. Maybe the archaeology. Rotterdam. You have gotten your production. It's really good. Get an archaeologist so we can improve this. Eindhoven. Sure, build an archaeologist. And then a factory and a shipyard. Actually, the shipyard before the factory. The shipyard is really good for you. Because you have so much coastal stuff. Ooh, yeah. Ravenna, do you have coastal stuff? No. Oh god, you have not many tiles. And steal these two tiles. You need some goodness too. Yes, city. Kinda needs food. One more turn. Holy shit, time. Holy shit, the time. I didn't realize that I'm play. Wow. The time did go away. I, I started to realize because I was like, hmm, I'm getting tired. What time? Do Whoa. Okay. Cool. Can move this guy to Indrapura. The money to Angkor Thom. Good. And we can shop in here. Babylon. Repair more stuff. And this city has fixed itself. That's good. So we just move these guys more or less back. They should be willing to make peace. She should definitely be lovely. Give me some money. Sure. No. Okay, fine. Would she make peace? She has less reason because she's killing my city states. But she does. No money to you. Sure, let's make peace. I would have even taken white peace with these because it helps me keep Lisbon alive, which she's currently killing. So, oh wow, there were. <laughs> she brought her army, yeah? But she cannot defeat my muskets. Not my triple upgrade muskets that are soon to the fourth upgrade and 
super strong crossbows. Yeah, go and repair some stuff. Oh, she has muskets and bombards too. She could actually... No, she cannot threaten me because my muskets are too strong. But it's actually an army that can take cities that she has here. Mediolanum doesn't need any more. Go here. Okay. So. We make nearly 400 money per turn. Nearly 200 faith per turn. A lot of science, but science we can improve a lot. We neglected it a bit in this game. But if we get research lab in our strong cities and in the other cities, so this scientific districts up and running, then we will pump out like 400 science at some point. And we are leading in science already on D team. Norway is the only one who is actually a competitor. I mean, Tamar, in theory too, she has a good empire, but she's already behind. Only one is Norway, but he's also behind, and we will only get ahead from now on. With research labs in our cities, they will skyrocket. Culture, we have a lot of tourism, and it will only go ahead. Religion, these two will cancel each other out. Very great. Also, this guy will help, will not... These, this guy also has a religion. There are four people with a religion active, so I have not to be afraid that someone wins a religious victory. Of course, I sh still should keep attention to this from time to time. Not that somebody sneaks something. What I need to keep attention to a lot, every, a lot are the great engineers and the great scientists, so that I get the good ones. I mean, I have way more points than others in everything. But I still can get beaten to someone that is faith buying it, so I have to pay attention to the very important ones. Um, for tourism, we just want computers. So we go for science now, and then we can go for for flight, for flight, radio, into computers. That is the tourism route. And after that, we can go to steel for the Eiffel Tower. Maybe could be helpful. And to get the walls, that also will push out some tourism. But in general, we are at the position where we start to skyrocket in everything. Like, if you want to see how you maximize tourism from this point on, watch my France Let's Play or my Cyrus Persia Let's Play. They are both with Rise and Fall. And use a few mods, but they are not super impactful. And count for the AI too. So, yeah. And for science victory, maybe watch my other room let's play or just do what I do here and get research labs, get them rolling and focus on science. We will have, oh we will have next turn. I will go for next turn because we get a golden age to decide on the industrial golden age. Um, no, I will not sell arts. They both have an heroic, uh, still have an heroic age. Next time, nobody can have a heroic age. Because no one was in the dark age. I'm surely not giving you two great arts and a great writing. I mean, I really have the double points of Norway. <laughs> they denounce me now because I'm a war monger. That's fine. Viking. Vikings think I'm a war monger. How nice. Oh, what I wanted to do too. Hooray, we get another golden age. Is um check the the continent's lands. Let's do that first, quickly. Continent. So we're on the red continent. And all of Netherlands is also on the red continent. And all of Tamar is also on the red continent. Really? Such a big continent? And over here, Angkor Tom is on the white continent. Okay, so we have three cities that are not on our home continent. Good to know. 
This makes our Kaza not so strong. And there is also a card for this one is really cool if you have a lot of cities that are not on the same continent as your capital. Which in our case is not really the case, so we don't go for it. And since our loyalty stabilizes, we can remove these very soon for more better economy stuff. And once we have finished the bonders, we can replace this with science or tourism stuff. Later in the culture tree are really good tourism cards. Um, Democracy is also really good, in general. This is really good because you discount on purchases with gold. I think that counts also for great people. This one is really good. Tourism from music. This one is really good. Tourism from great works of art and artifacts. This is really good. And um, social media, plus 50% tourism. So you make sure that you send to everyone at least one trade route when, once you have locked that in. So this will give a lot of tourism, this will give a lot of tourism, and this will get a lot of tourism. These three cards you want to lock in. Now we make our Golden Age dedication. We go for this. Production towards industrial era and later ones. Good, that's what we do. Campus district, science, Edison bonus provides production as well. So we get a lot of production out of this. This is really good. The rest is... I don't care. I really don't care about the rest. So, that was our tutorial on how to play against DTAIs in Civilization 6 Rise and Fall. Really the first episode is the most important episode by far. Because once you're in a strong position, you should manage to get going. The war over here at Angkor Tom was a bit risky, but you can always play it safe and wait for the next unique upgrade and then push into them. I mean, I could have done that easily, but because I feel confident with my units and I have quite a lot of experience in taking cities down, I could do it with legions and crossbows, which were actually outdated. It was the era of muskets and soon cavalry and bombards. So. This was it. I hope you could learn a lot and I hope it was also entertaining. I hope you learned how to use governors, that Magnus is the best governor of them all and Amani can really be good when you go for war, which is funny, the diplomat is your most important person if you want to warmonger around. And Pingala is good to be just in your most scientific city that has a lot of districts. So at some usually this will be in your capital. Actually, easy in my capital. I have no one in my capital. I have him in Kume. That's a mistake. I have Oxford in my capital. So this guy, that's a mistake I did. I just forgot about him to be honest. Should go to Rome. First of all, because Rome can use more housing. Always. And second of all. Rome makes 28.8 .8 science, and with this guy in, Rome will make even more science. And we're working both scientist slots, we're actually working a lot of slots because we have such a high population and not the tiles to work, whatever. This guy is good in Rome. So I really think this guy, this guy, and this girl are the best ones in general, or the most useful ones. I like this one at promotion 1, to have in 1 cities, just because it gets the builders one more charge. That's really nice to have a sit to, you know, you have this one in a city and you make sure you get some builders done there. It gives you some free charges, which is really nice, and she also pressures, of course, like all the governors, a little bit loyalty in that city. This one is good for money, and for tourism in the late game. This one is for me a late game governor. Early on you don't need her because her benefits are too small. 
But later on, plus two gold for each citizen in the city, that's a lot of gold. Double adicency benefits from commercial hubs and harbors, that's a lot of gold in the late game once you have a lot of districts next to each other. And um, this one, doubles tourism from great works of art, music and writing in the city. You will place that in the city that has all, the, all of these works, or if you have them spread out, make sure that you put all the works in one city if possible, and put her into that city. Really great for tourism then. But to kick that, to make a good benefit out of that, it will take to the late game. Not so useful are these two. I mean, yes, this guy is really useful if you get rushed by the AI, but if you really need to take this guy to survive, you probably better just restart the game, because it will slow you down so much. And this guy is utter garbage. Even for a religious victory, I wouldn't consider this one. I mean, he gets some nice religious benefits, but... Eh, whatever. I, I don't need this guy to win a religious victory. I'd still go for this guy to get the good religious wonder. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I will I will not continue here. I will make it I will save in here and see you on my next let's play or something. Hope you liked it, hope you learned a lot. See you next time.